Uh, nod right to switch lights on. Mitch Sturgeon is one of 61 million Americans with a disability. He has multiple sclerosis. I've lost the ability to, to move muscles from my neck down. Operate the rear door. He relies on his wife and modern technology to make his life easier. Computer, close the shades. He's also an engineer who plans to be the tech guy for this new apartment building at the Downs, designed for others with physical disabilities. I just see so many people out there who don't have access to this technology who could really benefit from it. This state-of-the-art apartment building is the brainchild of Paul Lynette, whose late wife Susan also had MS. Her impact on the community was significant, and that really drove us to realize that everybody should have the right to live life on their own terms. His company, 3i Housing of Maine, is partnering with Preservation of Affordable Housing to build this $20 million, 51-unit apartment building in the heart of the Downs community. People are really excited about being right in the, in the middle of everything. Corey Fellow says these apartments will not only be accessible, they'll have cutting-edge technology throughout for people with physical disabilities and their families who are at or below 60% of the median income. You can find housing, including some rental apartments that have some accessible features, uh, but it's, it's very rare to find something that has, that has everything. Developers are also teaming up with robotics programs at local universities to staff two tech centers on the first floor, one for minor repairs and customizations, the other to showcase new technologies for people with disabilities and help families obtain them. The technology is changing so rapidly that we're in the process now of doing a needs assessment. Developers hope to break ground this spring and these high-tech apartments will be available sometime in 2026. In Scarborough, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.